It's been a fixture in the community for decades, a place of worship, faith, and hope. Now this piece of history is slated to become condos. Community members in West Charlotte have been fighting against the plan, but as of today, it's a done deal. Yeah, the church is owned by a developer, and then as Channel 9's Genevieve Curtis shows us tonight, there is still hope that this landmark could get a lifeline. Yes, yeah, Scott, this nearly 100 year old church does have a for sale sign in front of it, but the bishop tells me the deal is done with a developer who plans to convert the church into condos. But some in the community tell me they are still praying for a different outcome. This is an architectural gym. Built in the 1920s and designed by fame architect Louis Asbury. For this part of Charlotte, it's rare. This house of worship nestled in the historic Wesley Heights neighborhood could soon be condos. But there's something very sad about this, and it's going to mean that the public can never get in it again. Every Sunday, Bishop Ricky Williams has a view from the pulpit. This is very special. This place has been bathed with prayer. He sold the church because he needs a new location for his ministry. A tough decision when he thinks about the centuries worth of prayers this church has held. You get attached to it. I mean, I like I, I'm, I have mixed feelings right now. I'm, I'm saddened. Local nonprofit Historic West End Partners had a vision to preserve the church. I would, would have loved and still would love to see the community have this as an asset that uh, they can leverage for gathering and for programming, cultural arts. They secured the funds about a week after the current developer made an offer. If the current buyer would be so kind as to allow this to happen, we would all greatly appreciate it. And there's a possibility. The message he has is that he's open. Uh, he's, a, he's a believer. Uh, I, I didn't just sell it to anybody. But William says with an affordable housing crisis, turning this house of God into a home for others might be its new purpose. And I believe that you're still serving God because the message is not just from the pulpit, but the message is in the things that we do. And now because this church is in a historic neighborhood, it will have to go before the historic commission so that the developer can present their final plans to maintain the exterior. And Scott, one of the stories that the bishop shared with me, they were getting some work done on the interior of the church. And that's when they discovered that all of the nails used to build this church were made by hand in the 1920s. It's something you just don't see anymore. Certainly, a, a, a lot of people say about Charlotte is that we kind of just destroy our history and build new. A lot of people would love to see that stay. Thanks, Genevieve.